ever live demo of Landa from stage. I'm going to tap start, and this is a project I've been thinking a lot about lately. Google has some really interesting updates to their Google I.O. 2022, including the likes of AR glasses, which allows you to see live translations as you're speaking to someone in a foreign language, which is crazy. But the thing that excited me the most was something called Lambda 2, and I wanted to dive into it in today's video, what it is, how it works, and how it could be useful for the future of productivity. So if you're new here, my name is Francesco, I'm the host of Keep Productive, and we're going to be diving into lots of different productivity news, software, and tutorials. So if you fancy joining the channel and subscribing, you can find the link in the description. So Google's done a lot of crazy stuff over the last few years, and in particular, last year, they introduced something called Lambda. And to be honest, I moved past it, didn't really see the necessary benefits for productivity. Obviously, you see some aspects of it, but this second version released at the event very recently has a lot of productivity elements of it. They introduced some really interesting elements of it, like the um, Imagine It technology, where you start having a conversation with this AI and um, it allows you to imagine things. So for example, you ask it, what's it like to live at the bottom of the ocean? And it will use all of its training data and obviously Google technologies to begin to shape um, that imagination for you, which is really crazy. Um, but that didn't really interest me. The thing that interested me in, in Lambda 2 was Listit. Essentially, Listit takes a complex goal or a complex tasks and breaks it down into bite-sized chunks that are more actionable and that allow you to sort of get stuff done in terms of what you actually need to do with this. And what was interesting is they demonstrated this in something called their AI Test Kitchen, which is an application that Googlers have been using to really test the limits of Lambda and how it works, essentially providing feedback on whether it's offensive or whether it's valuable. But what they did in the demonstration is actually take, uh, for example, how to plant uh, vegetables in their garden. I'll send this off to Lambda, and there it is on the fly, it's come up with these different steps and broken it down into this list of subtasks. One of the other things Lambda does is not just break down lists. And it would break that down, a, a complex thing like that, into a bunch of subtasks. Now, obviously, very early days, nothing like, okay, go and do this for me. <laughs> but that's what was quite interesting, is Lambda 2 combined with Duplex, a technology that Google released in 2018, would be a really interesting mix. And let me explain why that's in a productivity context. So Duplex would essentially have conversations and book reservations for you with you not even being in the picture. It would call up an organization like your local hairdressers and book the reservation all over the phone without any issues apparently. And basically imagine taking that technology where it goes out and does something for you, um, maybe has a conversation with somebody or maybe has a conversation with another AI and combine it with Lambda 2 is a good example of that. I'm just typing an email to somebody and I say, let's, all right, cheers. No, that's perfect. Thank you. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> See, Duplex could have had a conversation with him. <laughs> Imagine if Duplex was able to interact and be able to maybe like get the task done, be able to talk to another business or maybe even another business's AI technology. And Lambda 2 was able to break down complex projects or tasks in an email conversation I was having. And you would be able to press buttons and just say, Duplex, you go over here and do that. And Lambda, you break down the task a little bit further so that we can do that. Imagine being able to use these two technologies at once to break down 10 to 15 minute types of tasks and delegate them to artificial intelligence. It would be really interesting to see how this would work and how in practical sense it could be useful for a team or maybe even um, somebody that's working on their own. 
So Google introduced definitely some really interesting new technologies with Lambda 2, and I'm keeping an eye on whether this goes any further next year in particular with the next IOO event, or whether it's something that sort of takes a back seat Duplex has taken a back seat over the last few years, although it definitely has still been available for businesses and to use, but not in a commercialized mainstream sense. So, as you can imagine, Lambda, still early days of it, even though it's in a second version. If you're new here, it'd be great to have you because we do dive into more Google, Microsoft, and Apple technologies updates, but obviously loads of third-party productivity apps that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this feature, and let's dive into more videos very soon. Cheerio.